Lady Biatch is naked again. Take her off, get her cleaned, drop her off to the mechanics. And then I'm on boots for the next few days. Oh, give my weary bones a rest. See you, Del. And we go, yay! That's the way to do it. Wash the bike and the car at the same time. <laughs> there you go, darling girl. That's it. You deserve it, darling. Thanks for everything. Yay! All right, leg it to town. Go and get some more supplies. Get some other muscles moving. Bye, Artemis! <laughs> Keep taking my money, eight ninety. Alright, Rose, you take it. you too. How's my luck? Andrew Mack. <laughs> Andrew Mack. I found the best tremor in um, Alice Springs, people, and we spent more time talking than I have sewing. But, <laughs> you know what? Trimmers don't lend other people their scissors and they don't let other people sit at their machines. He let me drive his baby. Thank you, darling. He's a baby. <laughs> yes. I miss it. So I don't know if you guys know, but 30 years ago, I used to do motor trimming, cars, boats, everything. So it's been a long time since I've got behind the wheel of one. Actually, every time my brothers buy a new boat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Family? Yeah, I remember they got a oh, I bought a boat, but the canvas and the glass is shit, hey? Hey, little Pete. <laughs> so anyway, he let me sew my own stuff. So I fixed up my um, fox armour to fit my tiny little skinny waist, and, and I fixed up my hammock as well. So thank you, darling. I love yeah. the combo too. <laughs> So it's six o'clock, I've been running around today doing errands and cleaning all my gear. And uh, just spent the last hour and a half chin wagging with Andrew, the trimmer, that was gold. And I've worked up an appetite. And as you know, when I stop in a town, calorie replacement program. Me and my pizza, we're going home. <laughs> Let's go. And thanks, Leanne, for the loan of the car. Oh, it feels bizarre putting a seatbelt on and actually driving. <laughs> All right, let's go see our doggies. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Hey, darling. You are right over there too, Kimba? Oh. I think I'm going to have a nap. <laughs> it's not dirt life, people. <laughs> Woohoo! You hair, you bike. Just going to go pick the girl up now. Oh my god, I can't wait. So excited. Got all my errands done. Got my centre stand fixed. Got my motor trimming done. Got my shopping done. Just about ready to rock and roll again. Yay! Go get this girl. And there's my girl. <laughs> Whoa, a lot of work. A lot of work done. State. Thanks, guys. See you, Marcus. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Still waiting spending money, are you? <laughs> Just the log books, darling. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. But I got my mirror. Oh, you got a mirror? Good. Yeah, great. 25 bucks. Worked? Yeah. 
ready to break again. <laughs> a beautiful girl back. <laughs> and I love it when you see bits of blue grease around because you just know it's all been done bloody properly. Now, not only did they do exceptional service and did it in a flat out time, absolutely stoked. And the fact that they even got me in, I'm absolutely wrapped. So here, yeah, kudos to you, Moto Mechanics, Caleb, Marcus, Rich, Kate and the crew. Freaking awesome job, absolutely stoked. But here was the surprise. This, 150 bucks paid Mandy and Keith in the UK. So just so everyone knows on this journey, because my journey is such an amazing journey and you all know that, like, I'm just having the best time of my life, but it's not a sponsored ride. I don't do ads on my YouTube because I freaking hate ads. If I've got to watch a video and ads come up, even I flick it off, it really just pisses me off. So I would never do that on my own memoirs. My videos are my memoirs. But the fact that other people are enjoying it brings me joy as well. Mandy and Keith. Here they are. These beautiful people reached out to me on Messenger one of these days in the not too distant past, and we've sort of been tic tacking ever since. So um, he's now got himself a GS. Keith bought the bike, not me. He's not, not allowed to ride it because of lockdown, poor bugger. So there in the UK, he's got himself a GS1250, and here's his bike. So they were hoping to come to WA and um, catch up with their family, but because of Corona, they uh, haven't been able to do so. So anyway, here's all the dialogue we have tick tacking backwards and forwards. So they totally freaking surprised me. They saw on my video that it was going to Moto Mechanics, and then they both rang up Moto Mechanics and bless her cotton socks, paid 150 bucks towards the repairs. I honestly, it was, it was uh, two things. It was embarrassing because I'm a giver. I don't ever take, you know, I pay my way through everything. And if anything, I always like to make sure that I'm on top so that I don't owe anybody anything. And, you know, I'm just kind of that way. I just give everything away. Just ask my ex-husband and my ex fiance um, <laughs> And so this blew me away. It blew me. So I just, I sent them a thanks beyond words, just totally, absolutely shocked. And, and they said, no, nah, don't be embarrassed. You've given us two, you know, appreciate the normality of personal cost and um, you know it was just entertaining them in the turmoil right now so um, it, it, it was a pleasure for them to give so I'm just you two people <laughs> thank you so much I'm so grateful <laughs> Artemis is grateful thank you it's just so humbling so humbling it just goes against the grain who I am you know my mum and dad are like that they're the biggest givers in the world and and myself and my siblings we've we've all been like that as well you know we'd rather give than accept anything from anyone so I'm just totally flawed and appreciated thank you Mandy thank you Keith all right so that's the girl she's had a shitload of work so my windscreen's in it's at Simon's place and my new chain guard, so I'll fit those. And I got a new drink cup holder because that little part snapped off and got my mirror today, another $25 one. Just got to stop smashing them. Um, so yeah, still got a lot of bits and bobs to do to her, myself to get a race ready, but so exciting. Fink's on its way, yay, can't wait. Woohoo! It's gonna be bloody mayhem here next week. Absolute mayhem. Can't wait, the town's just gonna be so full full of bloody dirt bikers. <laughs> All right, let's go sort out through some more stuff. Just a Saturday afternoon drive. Had to come out and see the start and finish line of the big desert race. <laughs> oh, it's a bit exciting. I gotta get back out in the wild. This is just not good. <laughs> 
So I've just picked up my new windscreen and chain guard, which I've got to go home fit. I've nearly smashed a pizza. Good old tin tower was on special, 40 bucks down to 21. So I bought two and six fresh hot cinnamon donuts to go. <laughs> Oh, calorie replacement program, full swing. <laughs> it's going well. All right, I've got to go home and play on my bike, so I've done a bad thing. I've done a bad thing. I fucked it. <laughs> so I bought some contact cleaner to spray down the ignition barrel because it's been a little bit dicky and that seems to fix it. That was a little trick that Lily, Lily and Cairns showed me. Thanks, darling girl. So anyway, instead of wedging the key in there to hope, hold open the little gate, I just got a zip tie, found a zip tie on the ground, wiped the dust off, and uh, poked that down in there, sprayed the cleaner. Anyway, went to put the key back in, and the key's sort of only going in halfway, and I'm like, what the hell's wrong with it? The end of the zip tie snapped off in my barrel. <laughs> no, I can't get it out. Oh, so I'm gonna go bloody try again one more time, and then if not, I gotta find a locksmith or take it into Honda or somewhere, someone who can pull the barrel apart and pull the broken bit of zip tie out. Spew, can't see it. And because I tried to wedge the key in there, it's pushed it all the way down. Fucking idiot. All right, let's go. Better eat some more donuts, make me feel happier. <laughs> let's go. Come on, Leanne. Let's go work up an appetite. Oh, ready. <laughs> yeah, Botanical going. Park. <laughs> up the stairway to heaven. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a nice cool day, but the sun is shining. So we're going to go do the Botanical Garden walk first before we come back down here and devour some beautiful food. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, we made it. We haven't even had a coffee yet. <laughs> it has started. <laughs> so this is Karen, Leanne's neighbour. Think mad. And Justin. And a hubby Justin. Hey. And you know what they did? They snuck out there today and roped off their spot and they put some skull bones and, and stuff like that. So you are you going out camping with them at the track side? Yes. Yeah. So they got the secret location. And they've booby trapped it. So look out. It's booby trapped. <laughs> and if anyone's there by the time you get there, like <laughs> gone. Buried out there in the bush. Very big hole. Yay, look at my shiny new windscreen. You can actually see through it. Thank you, Bike Barn. You're a legend. So it's an SWM dealer, ordered it in Tassie and forwarded it onto me here. So just doing a bit of bike maintenance. Yikes. So I bloody got a um, locksmith coming out now. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Bob's arranged someone to come out and try and get it out with a pick. Otherwise, I've got to pull that whole barrel out. Yikes. So I'm just pulling all the old windscreen off now and replace all of that. And I've just done metal glue on my big foot. And got that sticking back on again because that's worked its way loose. And uh, what else am I doing right now? Oh, and I put my new chain guard on. Yay! Look at it, brand newy. She's a cracker. All right, and keep tinkering. Oh, look how naked she looks without the windscreen. All right, so I've got to get all this off. Do it now. Back to work, Rosie.
So this is the Ocean's Eleven safe pick lock man who's mm. potentially gonna save me my life. And a bit more shit money. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't look. Uh, how's this? Look at the plate. Picking locks. <laughs> Reminds me of that kids game operation. <laughs> That's it, he did it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so that was your first ever zip tie. Yeah. Oh, that was a fucker, right? <laughs> right Ooh, Thanks for that. That's it, people. Don't use old brittle shit down your ignition barrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay, yay! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Bye. Yay! This is your man, Greg Taylor, lock and key. The key pick master. Awesome. Now I've just got to get him to do those couple of safes. <laughs> Thanks, buddy! Woohoo! <laughs> Wicked! Rest of the work, so I've assembled all my windscreen, transferred everything across. I've uh, started putting the bike back together again. I glued that up for my while I had that metal liquid steel. That was for my Gibb River crash. I also glued on my big foot properly, so that'll cure in 10 hours properly. What else did I do? Starting to just put it all back together again. Wicked! Did a quick spanner check and checked everything was nice and tight. Oh my god! Yay! <laughs> so excited! Bloody beautiful, look at that. So that windscreen's off an SWM 650 Super Jewel. Not cheap, 350 bucks with the frame. And I just made customised brackets. Well, actually, Captain, I did them first and then Captain did, redid them for me again. Back home, thanks, Captain. And she works. Awesome, stoked. Yeehaw! All right, got to start loading her up. The adventure's got to continue. <laughs> Yay, stoked. Sand freaking sensational. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Let's go on a great adventure. <laughs> We're off to the rock. We're off to the rock. <laughs> Let's rock around a big rock. <laughs> I know you're dressed up pretty fancy. <laughs> Oh, how exciting. Look at the view from up here. <laughs> Yay, let's go. Big blue truck. We all know how much I love trucks. <laughs> and that's the Fink start line. It's gonna be all action this week. <laughs> I'm practicing my track play. <laughs> that's it, that's how you do it. <laughs> I'm going to get to see a real one one day. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. That's all the bloody camels. I don't want to see a camel. What a great little spot. What a great little spot. Dunder. One job down. 
down the entrance and exit in the front. That's it. And we're away again. Woohoo! To the rock. With the rock. To the rock. <laughs> Gotta say, I am contemplating being a trucking. Need an offsider? <laughs> Middle of Australia people coming up to Curtin Springs. And it's really just so lush and green out here. Wow, just this big rock. And that's not even the rock. That's Mount Connor. A little rest stop with Big Blue. <laughs> That's a cool looking truck. <laughs> Loving this soil. So Bob says up here there's a lake at the back. Let's go have a look. Stretch the legs. Wow. That, oh my God, look at that. That's great. Trying to stop done. Back to work. Oh, these dunes are so specky. The colour's amazing. And over this hill, over there is the Olgas. Behind these dunes, we got Uluru, there's rock. Yeah, I gotta go to the Olgas. This specky as. Job done. You now I actually get to see real life camels. <laughs> Yay, look, there they are, sitting down. There we have this rock, and excitingly, there's the Olgas. <laughs> Can't wait to see the Olgas. <laughs> hey, old Chevy pickup. She's an awesome Nick. <sighs> wow. Wow. Alright Bob, let's get back to work. <laughs> Another day. Eight cars we've got. So what do you reckon Bob? Can we touch? Hang up my corporate gear and get myself an Akuba and a CB radio. Yep. A pair of red wing boots. A pair of red wing boots. Blue singlet. I think I found my new career people. <laughs> Singlet That's it, I need a bronze singlet. That's right. Have some, some legs to fit some in. Cut off denim shorts. I reckon I can do that. Stubbies, it is. Stubbies, stubbies. oh yeah, shorts. stubbies. Yeah. Yes, I have my goldies hanging out one side. <laughs> Back to work, people. <laughs> This is nerve-wracking shit. <laughs> Inches to spare. Good thing I'm a good driver. Bob, this is scary. <laughs> is she going down? Okay, when you're ready. Okay, keep going forward. Yeah, okay. Oh. And that gives you an idea of what I'm doing. <laughs> Far out, Brussels sprout. This is nerve-wracking. This is nerve-wracking. <laughs> How did they do this? 
<laughs> Another five to go. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> For me, that's nerve-wracking. Now, skinny mini, I've got to get out of here. <laughs> Look at that! I'm on! <laughs> I didn't run into the truck. Thank you, darling. The magic key. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, second one down. <laughs> My track record's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> All right, now the rest. I think they're the two scariest hard ones. <laughs> Stuff me, this is nerve wracking. <laughs> Next cap off the rank. <laughs> Here we go. Yay! Another one down. Oh, this is one tough apprenticeship. <laughs> Scary. All right, another one. All right, Bob, you do the last easy one. <laughs> Make me do all the scary ones first. Done. Oh, can't be Bob because he's with me. Come on up. That's it. Give me more room. <laughs> Yay! That's all of them. <laughs> That's nerve wracking. Okay, and we got one busted up, one last to go on. Did I pass my apprenticeship? <laughs> Woo. That was nerve wracking. <laughs> it's nerve wracking going over all the different ramps and the wheels spinning and then, you know, making sure that you clear all everything. Oh, it's nerve wracking. Good fun. Lucky last one to go on. Land Rover Discovery not working. A little bit of a help from a forklift. Yep, it's a Ford. <laughs> yep, keep going. Stop. Yep, that'll work. Spot on. Wicked! Yay! Car carry alive. That'll work. Yay! Each one strapped in. Good to go. Time to wash the dirty hands. <laughs> and hit the road. Come on, Mac. Come on, Bob. Let's go. My turn to drive. <laughs> Let's go, Captain. Adventure continues. Bob and Bobette. <laughs> Bob Alicious. <laughs> Bob the gentle giant. Job done. We're off. Right. Homeward bound. See you, Rock. See you in 10 days' time. Bye. Yay. Hey. And that's break. it. See this little sucker in 10 days' time. So pulled up at Curtin Springs and look, we got adventure riders. So really super quickly, where are you all from? Coffs Harbour. Coffs Harbour. So, Wulgunga. And how long have you been on the road for? Three weeks. 
Three weeks, another week to go. Another week to go, and then you back to the big smoke and the yeah. dirty four-letter <laughs> word called work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bugger. So what do you got? We got a, a Boulevard, a BMW. What size is this? A 650, 800, 700, and a Harley. And oh, so you're all doing two up. Yeah. Yeah, wicked. Awesome. Right, folks, quickly. It's an adventure. Always an adventure. Carry on. Stay upright. Enjoy it. Beautiful weather. <laughs> Gotta do the duck. You ready? Gotta do the duck. <laughs> Mine's a fireworks. <laughs> or sparks. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. There's beautiful little curtain springs. We're waiting on our big brekkie, aren't we, Bob? Yep. So they've got 4G Telstra out here and 91 fuel as well as Opal fuel. But, yeah, they've got regular fuel, which is a cracker. It's great. And Optus. Yeah, it's a beauty. <laughs> this is a big breakfast. <laughs> Oh, are you going there, Bob? Mm. Oh. I can't believe it. <laughs> Poor that breeze is chilly. I've got enough food in me now to keep me warm, though. <laughs> oh. I think I'll just go and sleep in the back of the county and leave it there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> food coma. <laughs> I'll just keep my glasses on so when I'm asleep, Bob can't tell. <laughs> Carry on. to Uluru, it's freaking mint for an old road, and then this new road, it's like fucking being on a roller coaster. It's like bumpy and wonky and oh, just about making me truck sick. Contractors come in, they spray, they lay, they get out, and they get paid. So they don't even scrape they up the cables. Cool, they don't fix. They don't do nothing. They don't scrape so the, the cables up. On the road. <laughs> Camel laying on the road. That's what it feels. Over the top that's of. it. That's what it feels like. There's a few camels and roos under this tar mat. Oh, rough as. Uh, the bloke in charge, he got a new set of Toyota tyres, so he got the contract. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, is that how it issue, works? The bloke had issued some contracts. Oh, yeah, that's it. Got it now. Oh. Car, car and company were using the new set of tyres and new ball bar for Toyota. <laughs> Tuesday night entertainment, hey? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Freak it out. He always does the last easy one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay. That little sucker's staying on there. We're taking it with us. Yay. <laughs> Done. And just like that, our working day is done. Hey, Bob. Yes. <laughs> Finally. Woo! Off to that glass of red. Bah, bah. <laughs>